Allegedly abusing his pit bull. It was nearly five years ago when the dog known as Puppy Doe was found abandoned in Quincy. Boston 25 News reporter Alicia Rodriguez was in court for the decision in this closely watched case. Alicia? Yeah, animal welfare activists packed the courtroom today to witness what was the end of a landmark case. The case of Puppy Joe, spanning almost five years, ends in prison time. Radislav Sarkowski was sentenced in Norfolk County Superior Court to eight to ten years in prison, followed by two years of probation. You stand committed, sir. The sentence for 12 counts of animal cruelty will begin once he's finished serving time for two unrelated larceny convictions. It's a longer sentence than the defense was hoping for. This, this behavior he was found guilty of is in fact an aberration. But shorter than what animal rights groups wanted. People should just know, once you put your hand on a human or animal, you're going to jail. Is it significant? Is it historical Massachusetts? Absolutely. Puppy Doe was a pit bull found clinging to life on a dead-end street in Quincy in 2013. Prosecutors said Zerkowski, who lived nearby, had tortured the puppy, then abandoned it. Investigators said the crime was proven in part by canine DNA, a first in Massachusetts. We now have admitted uh, a tool into our court system that we can use science and forensics in a way to protect animals that we've never been able to do before. We have a lot of cases like this, never found the perpetrator. Puppy Doe was euthanized. A year later, a law passed stiffening penalties for animal cruelty. But Zerkowski was sentenced based on the laws in effect in 2013. We were hoping for more, but we're satisfied with what we got because it is definitely a start. This is the expectation of society and this is the direction we're moving in. We need to protect our animals in order to keep us all safe. Now, the MSPCA says it is now focused on passing a new piece of legislation called Pause 2, which will further tighten animal cruelty laws. Reporting live in Denim, Alicia Rodriguez, Boston 25 News.